Salut, salut, you wonderful simmers, and welcome. We are playing The Sims 4, and we are running through the herbalism skill and some things that you will need to know when doing this skill. So if you are playing with seasons, summer is the only time of the uh, year where your all 10 of the herbalism plants are available at the same time. However, the others can, they do vary between spring and autumn as well. But summer is the one time they're all available at the same time. They are spread out through all three of the places. Um, just heading up to show you guys. So some will be found um, in the deep woods, which is where she is. Some will be found here and then um, some of them will be found in the deep dark hermit lodge place, um, which is the hidden location. The herbs do have to be found. Um, unlike like your cooking and things, I'm trying to find somewhere to cook something now. <laughs> here we go. Um, unlike when you go to like grill uh it comes up with a price that you can pay instead of having the the items um the herbalism does not have that it just tells you what you need and it's a combination of um <clears throat> fruits and uh bugs that you need to find the plant this that does make it harder and you're also going to have to be in each of the locations for a minimum of two days for the plants to grow so you can harvest them uh when they are in your inventory so she's gonna they will all appear as unidentified fruits um you're gonna pick it it will oh oh nice um it will come into your inventory so i've already found the chamomile so this is the one we have just found so we can attempt to identify which comes with its own little animation which is nice and then it will say that she's worked out so mackleberry there is one poisonous type. I'm not entirely sure what happens if you do that. So I've got another one here so we can attempt to identify that. So I've found three of the hidden ones so far. Warba. There's one over there I can see. Harvest. Harvest that. Um, you can sort of see them in animal um, harvest the sage. Uh, you can sort of see them when you're down, but it is really hard to find them. It's obviously a wood, so yeah, they are. They can be a little bit tricky to find. So that must be the toxic one. So I think this is the poisonous one. So we might see if she's actually going to get poisoned. Oh, that's a huckleberry. Huckleberry. Um, <clears throat> oh, there's another one. Uh, harvest that once they are ready to be harvested from above they are a little bit easier to spot but it's still not easy it really still is not easy at all so this that definitely does make it harder than the others now if you want all of this information written down then check out the website linked below where I have an easy to follow guide of hopefully all skills, but there won't be when I release this video. It will take, it's going to take some time. I think that might be just about all of them. Let's travel down to her and we'll see how many we found when she's finished this. Right, so I don't know if you saw that as we were traveling around, I sort of saw some extras and was able to then uh, just click on them as she was running by. So it is a nice, easy way of doing it. Oh, look. Uh, we'll collect those insects. This is a skill that makes you be more immersive with the game. You're down at the Sims level. You can't just do all this in the sky. Um, which I quite like. I mean, I'm sure some people can manage to do it that way. Personally, I, I don't think I can do that. Um, 
And that's really cool. I really like that. I like it having to be more immersive. Now, if we travel back out, the house goes that direction, that there, and then it's up there. So that's how you get to the deep dark woods is that way. Just make sure no more uh, insects are around because I they're actually the first insects I have found. Oh, let's harvest that. Thank you very much. And then she can travel through there. Are these insects we can collect? Collect the insects. Yes, that is what we want. So I do think this might be one of the longer um, skills to finish if you wanted to like level it up. But some of the, um, oh, I don't like that sound in my ears. But some of the rewards for doing this are really, really good um, just before we go through. Um, so you've got deodorizing creams, soothing skin balms, uh, de-stressing concoctions, uh, tummy therapy. I don't know exactly what all these do, but we will find out during this episode, which will be cool. Um, but ultimately, level 10, you get a elixir of fertility remedies. So it's another way of being able to get your... Um, uh, to get your sim to have multiple babies at once, which will come in really handy if you are um, doing the 100 baby challenge or things like that. Uh, travel towards the sim. Okay, so now we're going into the deep dark wood. I might have done that a few times. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> so 5am is when plants spawn, so to speak. So... Um, you have to wait until that actually happens. So there's parsley here. What are all these little ones? Tomato bushes. Ah, oh. we can get tomatoes easily though. So I'm not too worried about that. This is quite a nice, um, almost naked area where you can actually see what's around, which is quite nice. Um, I know there's some plants here. I'd ha I might have already harvested these ones. Yeah, I did. I already did these ones. Was there anything else? Apparently there are two plants here, but I haven't actually been able to spot them. So I think cause there's one I just saw. Might have to wait till 5 a.m. to be able to get these. So I will do that. So there's a, there, oh, there is one. Um, Harvest the unidentified mushroom. There is a toxic mushroom. I think that might be the toxic one. Oh, ah, uh, saw the insects. LA dragonflies, how you doing? Uh, screw the uh, treasure. You don't need that. <laughs> the dragonfly. Oh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, she's going to get the... um. Uh, there it is. These are the morsel type things. Um... So yeah, I'm, this might be the toxic one. Maybe. I'm not sure what the toxic one was now. I'm just really worried about my sim dying. Um, this one is just... Okay. Um, so how many have we got? Oh, the poisonous fire leaf. Okay. So that's the poisonous one. I'm sure there was another poisonous one. Fire leaf. Let's see, what can we make so far? I'm not going to make anything, though, until we can make all of it, because then it just, I feel like it will help. Can we do it on there? No. Uh, where's the hut gone? Ah, there you are. <laughs> so you can actually cook these in the house as well. Uh, herbal remedies? There they are. So you can do it in the house as well. Oh, firefly and elderberry. So we still haven't found the elderberry. The noxious elderberry either. Elderberry. We need basil. I thought we had chamomile. I'm sure that one's chamomile. Hmm. 
Walking stick, interesting. Termites. Fire ants. Rainbow fireflies. Oh my god, some of these. So I got her to read the books to be able to unlock all of them, just so you're aware. <laughs> so I've just found something glowing pretty colours here. So hopefully that is it. She should be on her way. There she is. What are these ones? I love that. Ooh. <laughs> uh, and they are the rainbow fireflies. Nice. And then we got another um, unknown one. Do we know what that one was? I, th I think it was chamomile from the looks of it. Toxic chamomile, maybe? Oh, hello. Bright green plant. Harvest that. So, yeah, I'm just going around and finding them all. And it is literally a case of just travel around, keep looking, keep your eyes open. Anything moving, anything bright green. And hopefully... I'll be able to find them all. I'm really enjoying the ambience of this forest. It's so beautiful. It looks very picturesque, you know. It's just lovely. The sounds, the birds singing. It really is truly lovely. I feel it might be one of those rare occasions where they actually did a good job. <laughs> I know, shock horror. How many people say that about The Sims? They did a good job. But actually, it's really pretty. It's really serenic. And there's the right level of um, needing to stay. It's no secret through the website. You can tell I hate media production skill. You have to babysit your, your sim the things are too short so the, the the tasks that they have to do are too short and they are repetitive whereas it's so beautiful here <gasps> did you see that it's so beautiful here and the sounds um and the other activities you can do it just makes for a really nice experience uh -oh. And it's not the same thing over and over again. Yeah, she is collecting um, plants. But you have to identify those plants as well. Um, and things like that. Again, it just adds to the game. It makes... This, this skill brings more to the game. It makes you experience uh, outdoor retreat... Um, and I love that. I, it makes your sims do something a little bit different. Again, I love this skill. It's definitely one of my favourites and one of my least used ones. I don't think I've ever really used this skill before. Um, and that's definitely going to change. Okay, so there's one here. And there was also one down here. But I thought I'd already clicked on it. Where'd you go? There you are. Harvest that. Um... Yeah, I've never actually really used this skill, but that's definitely going to change. Um, is the skill underrated in my opinion? Ah, uh, potentially. Depends if you've used it. Um, and if you're a born collector. I am a born collector. I love collecting things um, and completing lists and things like that. And so this really appeals to that side of my personality. Um, and I'm finding loads of collectibles as well, which is going to come in handy just overall, you know. Um, that's just occurred to me. I can see. <laughs> Which one is it? Where's plants? Where is it? What am I doing? What even is life right this second? Gardening. There you go. Oh my god, I've done so many of them. So there's a few that I haven't actually, you know, looking at the outdoor retreat ones. That's fine. We'll see if we've collected them when she has finished this. Um, but yeah, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying doing this. We'll see if the um, brew's actually worth it, though, because the jury's still out on that. 
don't know yet. I don't know if that's going to have been worth the hassle going around and finding everything. So, yeah. Okay, so one of the things you're going to need is something called Will-O-The-Wisp. And that can only be found in the deep wood at the Hermit House. So, we are going to travel over there. It only appears at night. Um, so, yeah, that's going to make it interesting if we're going to have to um, go to all these places at night as well. Well... I always get turned around, it's that way. There it is. Explore. Oh, so I've got some glowers over here. So just scrolling out so you guys can see. So they're, they're there. How far can we scroll out before they like disappear? So about there. Oh, oh. wow. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure we're quite close down to the ground. So rare inse insects only come out at night. Let's get rid of that so we can see a bit better. Um, I'm just going to sort of get her to... I'm just going to keep patrolling almost. Um, in hopes that we will find these things. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> um... Oh, there's some more. She's going. <laughs> she looks so happy. Yay, you got it. <laughs> oh, dear. So, none of them. Let's continue our searches. So she's going somewhere over here. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, the tree disappears. Um, yeah, that's quite cool. I do like little things like that. Uh, pretty sure I've gone to that a dozen times. This is where she is coming. I'm just going to click on that in case. Uh... Blackberries aren't in season to winter, I don't think. Um, what did she find, by the way? I didn't even think to check that. I hope it was something worthwhile. Oh, firefly. She found more firefly. Oh. Okay. I'm not finding anything rare. Apparently, it's only found here. I'm definitely not finding anything. Oh dear. Oh, we might have to spend another night over here. I think that might be the case. Ooh. Ooh, I found something. Oh, that is a cool sound. Where is she? Come on. There she is. Oh, I didn't catch it. Yes, so we found the Will o' the Wisp. Uh, there's a couple of things that I can actually go in. So we found that insect. Um... I don't know whether or not to travel over to some other areas while it's dark and I hope that some ins nighttime insects appear elsewhere. Right, okay, so we have all of the pieces, so we're going to head over to here i need to double check but i'm pretty sure that i have everything not sure why there's a guitar in the kitchen um so if we go to brew herbal remedies oh no oh okay then so after a you a google search 
if you like me have found that you have gone and you've spent like two weeks literally two weeks of the game um looking for this stuff to come home to find that you have fallen short go on to your just like we did earlier um for your cheats and go bb dot show hidden objects this will unlock all your debug um so then you go in um choose your pack so outdoor retreat i wish i'd known this before because i wouldn't have spent so long doing that because i'm doing this for recordings purposes what were we oh the false moral mushroom so hopefully it's here And then you have that realization that actually you're not looking for that. I'm going to have to grow some. Okay, so we have a greenhouse back here anyway. So I'm going to find the false. Um, the false one. But we have 14. No, 21 of them. That's what? Okay, something's not adding up there. Right. Yeah, two of four. But we have 21 of them. I'm not quite sure what's going on. That is the same thing. Okay. Okay, so for now, we're going to ignore that one. We're going to go through and we're going to craft all of them. See what animations we have as well. See what the brewing actually look, looks like. Because I've never actually made a brew before. I don't think I've ever made a brew. I know we're level 10, but as I stated before, I'd, read, I'd got the sim to read the books. So, yeah, this should be interesting. Oh, don't just shut us out. Okay, so it's just like... Uh, oh, she's putting some berry in there. That's quite cool. Where are you going? Wait. Whoa. Why is she, like, cleaning? Don't clean. Keep doing this. <laughs> okay, so she switched sads. That's fine. Oh, and she's put more berries in there. Looks very interesting, I must say. And so it's in our inventory, I'm guessing. Um, um, ah, there it is. Lifestyle go poof. A particular brew that can instantly reconfigure a sim's life, setting them a new path. Is that what we just brewed? No, we didn't. We brewed a sadness alleviating. Um. Okay. Ah. Hello, you. Sneaky. Okay. And there it is. Apply sadness alleviating. So if your sim is sad, you can make that. That's cool. Okay, then. So the different recipes um, do a multiple of different ones. The ones that stand out for me is the de-stressing the uh concoction which stops uh gets rid of your stressed moodlets which will definitely help the soothing skin balm will heal um your insect bites and burns and things which is awesome if you're big on your adventuring with your sim the deodorizing cream will uh top up your hygiene need then, of course, the big one for me is the elixir of fertility. 
so you're more likely to get twins or triplets um the natural oil one yeah so the natural oil one will actually can be used on plants with a weed to get rid of the weeds which is quite cool so there's it, there's bits and elements that can work throughout your game to help you which i personally really like um the fact that, that yeah it works all over the place they look really cool um i need to work on getting the last few of them done um just so i can have the complete collection <laughs> um i do like all of me things so i've got to work out what's going on with the um fertility one because i couldn't make that one however i have gone ahead and planted all of the seeds so that will mean that we just have plenty of them they're also indoors so because they're sheltered it doesn't matter they'll just grow all year round which will be fantastic um i hope this has helped you don't forget to head over and check out um the website where it's all written down really nice and clear um and i'll see you around for another skill ta-ta